one of the programs that we've been particularly um, concerned with ourselves in setting up has been um, our Making It program. The program itself is about supporting makers who are at the start of their journey of setting up a business. Along with the support that the host organisations give, we run a business development program or a business support program that covers a lot of ground that is specific, looks at generic business requirements, but it also looks specifically at what is you know, unique, uh, what are the unique problems of the craft sector. The challenge was really learning about business. You know, what is, how do I, how do I stop being, not stop being creative, but learn to know when to stop doing that and to start getting on to all the business angle of things, things that I'd never heard of. Well, I had heard of, but didn't want to think about finance, accounts, bookkeeping, marketing, all those really scary words that, what is that? And it was very daunting. I think for the applied arts especially, the equipment outlay in the first initial couple of years is too much for certain students to take on. So the, the Making It programme allows them to work equipment free or relatively equipment free while they establish themselves in the market as a stepping stone between degree or MA status and then final business. Rather than me having to kind of get set up, which would have been so difficult to have kind of rent to pay, to buy a kiln, to buy all my equipment, um, which would have been, you know, the early stages of a business would have been really virtually impossible. And um, it kind of took away that, you know, I've got kind of the security of space for two years, so it will give me time to build up kind of contacts to get work in shops, to get work in the galleries and start bringing in, in an income, so I'll be in a better position, at hopefully at the end of the two years. Like the setting up scheme and the next move scheme in the UK in in England, the scheme works that the maker must spend three days a week in placement with a host organisation. The host organisation provides a studio space, um, overheads, lighting, telephones, that sort of thing. So within that organisation, you're also surrounded by creative people. I was very fortunate; I was placed at the University of Ulster at Interface. So in a sense, I was learning about business. By, uh, type of osmosis really. The Making It programme provided support throughout the two years and you know, every couple of months there was a training day and then there was feedback from that training day. There were meetings with um, your, uh, the coordinator from your host organisation as well as with Craft NI. So it was, it was I suppose in a sense almost like an incubation. Organisation would be a really big strategy for me now. Um, having, uh, having a good admin system, a good bookkeeping system, um, keeping my finger on what I'm doing with my PR and marketing, and also then, then that gives me the time that I can dedicate toward back into being creative, which is the real centre of what the business is. Outgoings, costing, you know, it's difficult, and even pricing pieces as well. You know, and finding, you know, if it, even that kind of takes experience, you know, pricing, you know, how much time it takes to actually make all these. If I hadn't have had the Making It programme, I would have been worried about all this admin and finance and all those big scary words, whereas I'm not anymore. I know what they are, I know what I need to do, I know I have a lot more to learn about it, but I know that that's okay and that everybody else was in that position and that, you know, I've had a really good foundation, so now I, I can really go out there and be creative and sell my product. It seems that um, a number of experiences are needed as you build up creative skills to that, um, to a business over time and I think this is one step in that. Mm -hmm.